tight. Tight, tight, that's tight. If I were an Ursa Rang Rang Rang, where would I be? I'm gonna look for that Ursa Rang real quick. So, speed up time. Let's look back here. Oi, this is my house. Get out. Fucking street rats. Bob. God damn it, Bob. Level five hop if. What is this? What is this bullshit school? Bidoof. I'll send out Sucky Sucky then. I guess it is public property. Yeah, it is. You know, sometimes I do have to share this place. There's a small fire-like Pokemon that sometimes hides down here when it's a raining. So it seems like there really is a difference between, you know, types, drains, and all that shiznes. I don't have anything to defeat that, do I? It's a noy bat. I still don't noy what you are. The cave echoes dully. Wonder what that means. Can't go that way. So I just have to randomly wait for it to start raining to find a fire Pokemon. Okay. All right. Back to our original mission. Fun fact: in that. Alleyway at night, they're Murkrows. <laughs> oh, hey, it's my channel again. I'll just beat this real quick. You know, that would be effective if it weren't for the fact that I already beat you. Teddy Ursa is not there. Teddy Ursa is not here. Oh, I found calcium accidentally. Nice. If I were a Teddy Ursa, where would I hide? Lots of places. What's in here? Depper Ward is currently off limits all civilians. Please turn away immediately. Okay. I guess there is literally nothing else to do here. I mean, I'm not done yet. Hi! Hi, buddy. Come here. Ursa. Yes! We got our chance to catch him. And he's level 14. Perfect. Who am I going to replace with? I know exactly who we're going to fade. Replace you with. Or who we're going to replace with you. Baby doll eyes. You just going to make me feel bad for you? All day long? You missed. One more. 
fake tears. Now it's gonna harshly fall. Premier Ball, because you're gonna be my Premier Pokemon. One, two, three, caught. Yes. Uh, yes. My teddy bear. Fine. Teddy bear. Well, let's look at our team first. Let's get rid of Wishmer for now. We don't need her. And if anything, we can just go re-pick you up if we want to level you up again, so. Shift you out. Let's change this wallpaper. To a forest, maybe. Rustic. Oh, much better. Oops, that was really loud. Why is the fucking thing so loud? <clears throat> Alright, now we're going to the gym. And then we can grow our Pokemon five more levels. Kind of sucks, though, that we kind of get limited so quickly. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Funky. Hey there! I saw I see you've made it to the gym. This telecom system connects right to the Grand Hall, so no matter where you are. So whenever you get to a gym, you can call in for advice. Anyway, this is your first gym battle in Reborn, right? Reborn's gym leaders are a little tougher than other regions. For instance, every leader has a full team of six Pokemon. Not only that, but they can also use special arenas called field effects for tactical advantages. If you want to survive in Reborn, you should get used to learning about and playing in these fields. May even find ways to turn some opponents' arenas against them. As for Julia, her electric field will make all of her same type attacks even stronger, and add a jolt to some other attacks like her explosions. It's standard fare, but if you have something that can tank electric attacks, you're almost home free. Failing that, your best bet is to come in with a full team and hopefully some high HP Pokemon to take the hits while you whittle her down. Good luck! Thanks. Careful or everything will blow up in your face. Techie Johnson! Like to fight! Like I said, our first move is going to be sending out for the gym leader, obviously. Ugh. Is going to be sending out our channel and having covering the floor with the poison spikes. Frickin' paralysis. Fine then, let's see how our teddy bear fares. I mean, you've got a lot of health though, so... Bum, bum. 
Come on. Yeah! Teddy bear, go! Kaboom. You're dynamite. Bzz. Voltorb seems to want to follow you. It's burning with energy. Bzz. Voltorb approaches the metal gate and begins to glow. So we have suicidal Voltorbs. Excellent to do. Whatever. I'll just continue on. It's absurd how she lost civilians into the power plant. Doesn't look like a power plant. Techie Bill. You know, you look like... You know what? I'm not, I'm not gonna go anywhere with that. So I realize I can go pretty badly. Make out. These, like, field advantages are gonna get real annoying real quick. Ugh. Alright. Teddy bear, go! We'll just go with a quick fury swipe to finish it off. Alright, Bill. I suppose this is the price we pay for saving city space by turning the plant into a gym. This place is still absurd. Absolutely. Looking for a badge? You'll have to get through me first. Okay. Hot shot, Lennon. My teddy bear is better. It's more adorable. Gosh darn it, teddy bear. There you go. You get that damage in. Come on, one more, one more, one more, one more. Yeah! Yeah, Teddy! All right, go win your shit. Okay. What are you waiting around for? Hmm? Well, that's where she is. Everyone here is so reckless. You know, there are switches to the gates in the back. Techie Gam. Tynamo. Come on. Come on. Yes. <laughs> you titty. Then again, the switches were covered up by Julia herself. Efficiency is a fine companion to visual presentation. Let's go, Voltorb. Aw, I was hoping you'd follow me outside. We're gonna heal because we're about to go fight Julia anyway. Oh, I have to go back and get it. That's stupid. Let's 
says Kaboom. Hi hi Fungi, welcome to the super duper ultra hyper electro dazzle happy boom time house of cheer. Just ignore all the super lame machinery junk. I need more banners and streamers and hmm, fireworks. Wait, is that a safety hazard? Oh, who cares? Anyway, don't think it'll go easy on you just because you helped us out earlier. I have pride to uphold. As former captain cheerleader, the Onyx Trainer School honor depends on me. OTS, we represent. We pack a punch and don't relent. All right, all right, all right. I'm wired, so let's fight. Oh. Oh, I forgot to change the... Damn it. Oh, well. Heliopthal. It's weak, though, so... Damn, son! Dang it! All right. Do the thing I need you to do. Yeah. Only seventeen. That's fine. Come on, buddy, three times or twice. That works too. Alright. Let's send it a Voltorb. Yeah, we'll switch out to uh, Saki Saki. Perfect. Oh, alright. I can't. The guaranteed 20 damage. You motherfucker. I mean, we all knew that was coming, so it's not too much of a surprise, but it still sucks and all. Alright, we're gonna get Meme up there and get him a, you know, nice level. Thank God you missed. I don't know how Charge Beam got first. What should be faster than you, Voltorb? There we go. Nice. Emolga is the rat. Shit, it flies. It's not gonna get. Oh, right, I'm not gonna be able to hit it with that. Shit. Nuzzle? Huh. Didn't expect that attack. Oh well. Yep, you're gone for, but that's okay. We'll send in this channel again. Oh, oh. I didn't do too much. Only twice. God damn it, this channel. I need to set this shit up. Oh, thank God it missed. Okay, so it is still on the ground. I wasn't sure after that last one. Yeah, and that's what I expected from Voltorb. Cuh. Two more. Two on me, three on her. 
Um, side beam. Mm. Roll out. No bueno. However, it's now gone. Thank God. Blitzel. Uh, we'll send in the teddy bear for a blitzel. That's the Zebra, right? Yeah, it is. Excellent. Yeah, we'll go Fury Swipes. Shit! It hit! It's not what I wanted! Okay, it does 17 damage. Fury Swipes, on the other hand... Oh, boy! It's muy bien. Uh, we'll hit with just a regular faint attack. Come on. Shift. That's right, Teddy. You do real good. Yeah, we're gonna change Pokemon. Dunk a boom, dunk a boom, dunk a boom. Yes! Oh, right, you're poisoned. You can't fall asleep. Shit. Alright, then we're gonna just side beam you up. Don't miss, don't miss. I mean, miss. Dang it. Ooh! That's no brain! No, no, no. No, no. <laughs> Very much a no bueno. Whew. That's also a no bueno. Um, Miss Miss Shit Tits Ah, uh, we lost against Shirt Captain Julia. Uh, thank you. 